Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I'm working on this baritone. It has rotary valves with mechanical linkage, and the mechanical linkage is very loose in a couple spots. One of them I did in another video. On mechanical linkages, there are several places where the linkage can become loose. On this video, I'm going to solve the problem with the levers. There is too much motion back and forth. This is a fairly easy job. I just need to put a spacer in between the post and the lever, and I need to do that four different times. There are different ways to do that. I have sheet brass that is different thicknesses, and I can find the correct thickness and put it in between there. I just need to drill a hole in it and then cut it out so that it fits. And another way I can do it is I have a valve stem from a tuba that broke off, so I can use that. I can just cut part of that off and then file it down so that it fits. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sheet brass and slide it in between these slots see what thickness I need. Okay, I think uh, this thickness will work on two of these. And then this is the thickest one. So, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, this will fit on one of these. I'm going to try this and see how it works. It already has the hole drilled out, so all I need to do is cut it and then fit it in there. So I think I'm going to try this one first and see how that works. I put the valve stem in the bench motor, and now I'm going to cut that off like that. And the reason I put it in the bench motor is so that I can turn it while I'm cutting. I'm going to try to cut it evenly. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Here's the tiny little ring. I'm going to put it on the wooden block and then file it so that it will be smooth. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to see which one this fits into. The one that the washer fits into is this one, and that's one with the largest gap. And this one, too, has a large gap. So I'm going to make another one from the same valve stem for this lever. Yeah, I think the other two are going to be too thin, and I'm going to need to do that with a sheet metal. I have the correct size drill bit, and I'm going to put that in the bench motor. Here's the correct size sheet metal. I have a block of wood that I'm going to use to back that up. And then I'm going to drill this out. There's the little hole, and I'm going to use the tin snips to cut out around that. There's the little ring, and now I'm going to use the dent hammer to flatten that out. That is ready to go on there. I have all the four spacers lined up. What I did to see if they would fit is I took the spacer and then I put it in the slot and if it fits then it should be good. If one of these ends up being a little bit too thick, I'm just going to take the needle file and then I'm going to file it down a little bit, but they should be good though. Now I need to take apart these levers. There are five screws, one on each of the posts, and I'm going to unscrew all of those and then slide out this uh, bridge right here. I got all the screws off. Now I have to take the posts off the bridge, which is a little bit harder than you'd think. Okay, there we go. Uh, that came off. I have to be careful to keep these in order because I have all the washers lined up in order. So what I'm going to do is take off the first one and put in the spacer. I did run into a little problem. Because these are square, the hole in the washers would not fit into them, so I chucked it into the vise right there. You can kind of see that. And I'm going to take a square needle file, and I'm going to file down some slots to make that square. I need to be careful not to file it down too far because then it will fall apart. I don't want that. Okay, that should be good. So I'm going to try that again. And I'll put that on there. And this time it fits. So I got the first one done. I'm going to put the other post back on there and then move to the second one. And I'm going to need to file that one down too.
And something about band instrument repair, you always run into little problems. That's what band instrument repair is, a huge series of little problems that you need to solve. So you just solve the problem and, and move on, and it's not a big deal. You just do what you need to do to get the job done. So let's see, if yep, that goes like that. So I'm going to move on to the next one. All the spacers are on, so now I just need to put this back together. So, let's see, this goes around like that. And you need to do it under tension so that you get it the right way. Because if you just put them on there, then the, uh, the lever will be on the wrong side of the bridge. So, then I'm going to put on the next one. Now all I need to do is put all the screws back in and see if it works when it's done. Now I'm going to check it out. That one is tight, that one is tight, that one is tight, and that one is tight. So they're all good. Now they just need to be not so tight that they don't work. That works fine. That one works fine. That one works fine. And that one works fine. So that job is done. All that's left is to oil the moving parts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.